Generic greetings and welcome to the final station today's beverage is. A nice cup of Earl Grey. So this is one of several games that I picked up over my Christmas 2019 break from YouTube. And you'll probably be hearing me say that quite a lot in subsequent videos because I went back, especially through the backlog of games that I've had on the list for quite some time. Things I've wanted to try, things that I've been interested in but not really looked at. And just random curiosos and things that I've found. And I tried loads of different games and obviously I'm going to be making videos about some of them. This is one of them. This actually came out in 2016 so it's been on the list for quite some time and it's quite difficult to explain exactly what the game is about. Essentially, you are a train driver who has just come off their holidays. You are given the Belos 07 and told to go to certain destinations. The game switches between you managing the train and its passengers slash cargo, as well as going around the city. Some of them are friendly and you can talk to people and some of them which uh, well you have to be armed to be in so we'll see what happens there so let's just crack on and see what we have to do so we're currently at a destination and we have to go and talk to a general for some reason so no I don't know what's going on in Redmond apparently you will have to explore and find different things not only will it unlock uh, essentially like bits of the story and it's it's all told through um, conversations with people uh, not just on the train but also uh, like talking on like a walkie talkie type thing as well as going up to uh, pieces of paper and uh, like terminals like this for example like I'm running a fever it's why you stay away from those things. And it introduces the story uh, you know, very slowly as you go on. And, ooh, that guy has a shotgun. Infirmary's off limits. Oh, wait, access code? Okay, you may enter. Apparently, we had the access code. And, oh, that guy doesn't seem in too good a health. He seems to be... Apparently, it's not blood, but that guy's... Looks like he'd be dripping tar out the mouth. That's, that's not good. Uh, most of my staff have fled the city. We're the only ones... Staying. Worst part is there's nothing we can do to help them. Okay. And, yeah, water. Friend, give me some water. Well, I don't have any. Sorry, sir. Uh, continue on uh, through here. And you can see there's all this stuff coming from the vents. I have completed the game. So I do know uh, roughly what the deal is, but I, I don't know if there's multiple branches. I know there's a DLC with multiple branches, but either way, I know what the uh, story uh, entails. So I'm not going to spoil it to, uh, for you because I, I don't do that sort of thing. I tend to hold off on the story stuff. But anyway, um, I headed there back. The government is silent. Who's back? Sausage roll men. Uh, let's go. Oh, we've got some gunpowder. There you go. You want to look into all of the things you can find, like the, the um, like fridges and... Uh, the cupboards and lockers and stuff because it gives you resources which you can use to trade and build and that sort of thing So it looks like the generals in here come in. Uh, they're waiting for you. Apparently we are that important So here it is uh, They'll be here in 20 minutes, sir. So uh, listen to me. What was your destination? Uh, we tell them that you get dot 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 above your head when you're talking uh, Will stream you say mm, I guess so um, Wilson is no more, son, so the whole, so is the whole mountain region. We, however, need your train for an important cargo delivery. Being connected to the train as we speak, uh, deliver it to the uh, new coast field and wait for further instructions. I guess I don't really have to... I don't really have any sort of cause for argument, really, because they are all armed and I am not. Um... We all do, but an order is an order, apparently. Estimate time, 10 minutes, sir. So that was a quick... <laughs> you said 20 minutes a second ago. Um, so your new route is hardly affected by them, so you'll encounter survivors. Save all you can, but this is a secondary objective. Now go. Uh, so I guess I will go. Good luck, son. So we go to our train, and uh, we will be able to... Oh, what's this? It's like some sort of tunnel system. You generally find that you will go um, along one way and come back a slightly different way. It's normally quicker, and also you'll find more stuff. I feel them. They are close, finally. Hmm, that seems suboptimal. And, oh, apparently that guy's sort of bleeding from, well, whatever that stuff's coming out from his face mask. And even more, and someone's in there, and, uh, uh, okay, I, I guess there's someone there, so I will fling... I will fling the chair at him. So that's one of the bad guys there. They're the shadow monster type things that you encounter. And there's many different types. Of them. There's fast ones. There's really big ones. There's uh, ones that are on fire, <laughs> which is not good. Anyway, uh, the Metropole Upper House to Martin Rudy, head of the station, emergency station A45. Blocker code confirmation 3794. So now that we have the blocker confirmation... 
we can uh, move uh, the train because you see it says BL that's a block there so proceed the train yes 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 so we go up here and then we start three seven nine four and that unblocks the train and then we can head off and you can see there's already some cargo being put on there in that red box we don't know what it is we can only guess as to what it is as we uh, progress on and people talk and we um, discover what's going on and now the train's just gonna plow through the entire city <laughs> But here we are. So this is the train section. So you've got three main sort of bits. You've got your train section where you go around and you can, yeah, you talk to these people so we can't say anything. So you're looking after the needs of your passengers. So you can see they have a health and a hunger need. And you get rewards based on um, what type of people they are. So they might just be uh, like scientists or uh, that sort of thing. You get different rewards and it'll show you below there if there is a reward. These guys, we don't have any rewards. Uh, but we do have something that sounds bad. Um, we have something here to manage. We have to uh, manage the train as we progress on. And uh, because it's sort of like a... It's in a sort of beta sense, essentially. It's a... I don't know what's going on in the background there, but it seems interesting. Because it's a prototype train, there's all things arcing and sparking. You have to manage it. We also have to manage the... the uh, the resources on here as well as talk to different people so uh, James Biddle and oh that looks bad um, are you in the north are you okay there so so we've had calmer days uh, the reports so, some shootings any word from the council and then James goes offline that's not good and oh well that is a thing hmm there are no soldiers on here but there are, well, someone must have dropped some jam through the windows, obviously. Anyway, let's fix this because it's all arcing and sparking. So you manage uh, the you manage the train. So you've got this thing here. You've got uh, this bit here to, to manage. Normally, there's only one active at any one time, I believe. You also have these dispensers, so food and med kits. You can also craft things like, for example, uh, med kits there and ammo. But we don't have any need for either. And we're now at our destination, so we'll drop this thing off. As I said, there's three sort of main bits. You've got your train bit there. You've got your... Uh, narrative bit where we were talking to the general and now we've got the combat bit which is quite quite brutal so you have a number of health packs you have your ammo you can shoot and you can punch and at the moment we don't actually have any weapons and oh something's obviously going on here we're going to keep searching and see what we can find hopefully we'll find a weapon john they summoned me to the headquarters something urgent if a train arrives i have the code so i don't know where this person is but we do have some uh, we do have a firearm now, but we don't have any bullets, which is not good, but we can punch. You can also do like a charging punch, but I find it's hit and miss. Wanted for guardian construction, engineers, mechanics, and builders are wanted. 10 years, minimal experience required. Metropole, lower sector, accommodation, meals, double pensions are provided. Uh, do not fight the settlers and families. Okay, fair enough. So we have, oh, someone over there. Now, we can't shoot because we're empty, but we can punch. So we'll go up to them and, ah, we can't get past because of there. So we'll go up here instead. We'll see what's in here. We have, looks to be a list of current routes. Uh, Alan Adams, Bob... Bosca and shows you like different routes and stuff. Ah, there you go. Edward Jones, the Bellus 07. We're on the Z so we must be Edward Jones, unless there's another Bellus 07, but you imagine that would be that's the name of the uh, that would be the name of the train rather than the class, but then you, you never know. Good lord, uh, are you a rescuer? Well, sort of of some sort. Okay, I get it. Uh, sure, I'm waiting on the train. So this will go there. We'll have a look in here. So we've got pistol, ammo, and we've got some clothing and scraps. And you use these to build stuff. So this, uh, this, cr this creature here will come down and attack us. So we need to sort of fight them. Now I find that these ones, the slow moving ones, especially on their own, very 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 easy to deal with just by hitting them uh, you can probably deal with probably two or three uh, just by doing that if you step back these ones that run like that however you have to keep a certain distance from them if you go too far back they'll do a pounce if you get too close they will hit you so there's a middle ground and the reason you want to do that is because the ammo is generally quite um, you're generally quite short on it. So uh, here we go. This is the block confirmation code. We will have a look in here. And we can pick up a box and use it to go and fling. And as I said, when it comes to uh, dealing with these, it's generally quite easy. You just have to, let's say, keep your distance. You get too close, they will hit you. And they do do a fair bit of damage. There's someone down here. It is. Uh, I will try and deal with them. We can deal with that person. Then that one person, well, thing, shadow monster type thing, and then we'll see what's over here. 
Uh, nothing there. What's in this one? And there's even more in here. And we've got the one of these running ones here. So I'm just trying to uh, make sure we don't get hit by them. And I actually don't know what's down here. I'm just uh, having a little bit of an explore. And it could be nothing. It could be something. And no, it looks like it's pretty much nothing. So it's just a, another way to, to come back. As I said, you will find... Oh, hang on. Freeze. Uh, first you answer, who are you? Well, I'm a train driver. Yeah, the train. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for you on there. So that was the combat bit, and uh, we've rescued some people. Remember, that's a secondary objective. Our main objective is to get to the location. Uh, eight, five, six, three, and that will unlock the train, and then we'll get on it. And then once again, uh, what's that? A know when to run achievement. Is that because we didn't explore all the way on the other side? There's lots of achievements to get, and. Um, things to do and you don't necessarily have to explore everything 100% in fact there's a lot of times where you just want to go there's no reason to stick around oh it looks like we've got an alert here so it is uh, from Nicholas Wilson are you going to Redmond no sorry is everything all right I don't remember them building a tunnel here sorry the connection is dis gone he's gone offline brilliant so let's see what we can build we can't craft any any med kits, uh, but we can craft some ammo. You do get uh, more weapons in the game. You do get a shotgun. So there you go. Uh, it was close, apparently. Let me just uh, pull this lever just to make sure that we have the right amount of vaults there. If you uh, get to, if you leave these to arc and spark too much, eventually the train will shut down, or this this will shut down. Life support shuts down. These start suffocating it. Uh, I do find that, as uh, I think I mentioned it, when you're doing these and you people are talking. You can see the rewards here, $60, uh, uh, 60 generic units of currency plus 12 ammo, and then reward 100 there. Um, these talk, and they will give you um, clues to the story and what's going on and that sort of thing. However, the the need to micromanage all of the sections of the train, you generally miss a lot of it. And I think it's got a big disconnect there. I think it, it takes away from, from that. Because you do miss part of it. Like I'll be over here, uh, like f f doing this and focusing on this, but I'm not uh, reading uh, what this one. I saw the driver uh, took a weapon from you. Mm, not particularly. Where'd you get it? I think I just found it. <laughs> found it. Fair enough. You can see in the background there, we've got some sort of big light there, and we're going through all manner of places, like a nice town here. Uh, what are they like for health? Oh, hunger. Uh, someone is very, very hungry. So we'll pick up the one food that we have left and we'll give it to them. And that fills that uh, bar up. We can see that um, Rhonda here, she is actually quite um, hurt. We do have a medikit, but as long as they get there with even a smidgen of health, that is getting them to their destination. Um, we're not here to uh, be nutritionists or anything. Uh, we just have to get them to the destination alive. So that's your objective. And the medipacks that you take from there means you don't have medipacks when you're on this section like we are now. So once again, we have got to our destination and we will have to have a little look around to see what we can see. And most of the time it'll be in the dark because it's a very, very dour, depressing looking game and full of bad guys like this, which as I said, if you're careful, you can very easily just take out by uh, punching them repeatedly in the face. What I'm going to do is pick up that because these are quite nasty to deal with. Um, and just say, uh, yeah, there's one of those for you, mate. Oh, oh actually, oh, that's bad. I pressed the wrong button. I, uh, <laughs> I, I uh, didn't left click. I actually uh, right clicked, which means it... Uh, um, didn't fling this thing, so I've taken some damage there. But uh, let's see. No, we'll fling that over there. So, some toilet paper and some pills, uh, some ammo and such, and that thing's locked. I'm going to pick up this chair and I'm going to carry it with me because they're generally quite useful and the case in point. There you go. Uh, just uh, some surprise thing there. Uh, let's continue on. The fact that it's giving me these here is quite worrisome and yeah, what a surprise. So we'll take those out. There we see the fast moving ones. As I mentioned, you get different types of enemies. Um, uh, I think from memory, you've got those types, you've got the fast types, you've got bigger ones that take a lot more punishment. You've got ones on fire that explode when you hit them. You've got ones that sort of grab onto your head like a sort of head crab from um, Half-Life. And there's an armoured one, which you can only get by... You can only take out by... Uh, by taking off the helmet first, which generally requires one shot. So what? Are you serious? He spends hours in the restroom instead of working. Oh, yeah, it's, it's probably nothing to do with the uh, stuff there. And Ah, oh, we can push a box off the edge, and yeah, you saw what happens there. <laughs> we just uh, knock it uh, on there, and oh, this is going to be someone in there. Yeah, there we go, and we've taken them out. So we've got some pills. 
continue on and oh there we go that's bad that's bad so i've taken uh, i'm using my med kit there uh, you if you attack though it stops so i'm going to use my med kit because i'm almost dead you can see just how quickly that can go south uh, i found um, the train driver's keys there and i'm just going to try and deal with these and go past them you can if you're very fast run straight past them and you generally get away with it if there's only a couple of them left um oh, hold right mouse to charge the melee hit i find that it is quite hit and miss there we go, but we've managed to open that up. Don't shoot! I'm not one of them, and I need your help. Uh, no, I haven't seen anyone. Be sure, quick, with our code, I'll be waiting on the train. So we've got the code, he's on the train, so we are rescuing people. So that is probably going to be quite difficult, because I've only got one med kit, and he was bandaged, and I haven't yet found... Oh, I did find a set of keys, though, didn't I? Um... And there we go. There's the code. Uh, I didn't actually read that, so you should probably read it properly. Uh, head of infestation. Ah, it's just blocker code confirmation. That's fine. I think these codes are actually randomised, so I don't. I, I don't think you can um, skip ahead. Uh, basically, if you if you're on the same level, I think they are actually randomised. So we've got another person. We've had a look around. We've fought some more enemies, and we'll jump back on the train and head off. And this is going to be your moment to moment, basically. And it's about. Uh, you know, not dying in these uh, these combat situations, and because that's all you can really hope for. Uh, you see that person is bleeding there, so they are slowly going to lose health. But yes, um, it's about doing that and keeping your passengers alive as much as possible. Sometimes there will be certain passengers that are in uh, a worse state than others, and maybe ones that you want to keep alive for story purposes. You generally go, I find, between four and five stations and then drop them off, so they won't be on for the entirety of the game. And it's just about discovering the story as you progress on. Mm, that is a nice beverage. So, that's... Uh, is that the sun coming up or a bomb going off? I mean, it could be both. It could be column A and column B. I very much hope not, though. And we're going past some fields here. So that person is going down. Oh, this guy. I don't survive because the council and their instructions. So we've got uh, a shop assistant. But because I could find a weapon and get myself into the train... I think these two uh, like to argue. Um, how is that person? So they are bleeding, but we only have one medikit. The council never prepared for the turn. Where is the guardian? So we know about the council. Well, we've heard about the council or the guardian about the uh, the invasion. And the general is sending us with something to somewhere. And it's about playing it and finding out what's going on. And that person is almost dead, so I'm going to pick up a medikit and give it to them like so. That will not only heal them to, uh, I believe, full health, but also stop the bleeding temporarily. I have fallen at the last hurdle when I got to a point where I think, oh, this person's going to be fine, and then they started bleeding again. And, oh, wait. And then there you go. There's the bleeding that kicks in. So we've got no food. Um, can we craft anything? We can craft one medikit. And we craft some ammo as well. We actually got a fairly decent amount of ammo because I don't think I've actually fired a shot yet. If we go over to here, we can see where we are. And Oh, well actually I was going to say we'll go to the map and see where we are, but we are on the way. And you can click on that and it tells you a bit more about it. And we'll pull that and uh, you get to the destination. The longer you stay here when someone's bleeding, the more that counts down. So obviously you don't want to do that. But that's basically the moment to the moment of the game. I, it's not a terribly long game. I think I've only played, I think... Probably between three and four hours, but it was quite uh, reasonable when I picked up... What's this? It's a battery terminal, so we need to find a battery. Um, but yeah, it's quite reasonable. It doesn't outstay its welcome, and I've uh, quite enjoyed it. There is a DLC that I haven't played. I'll show you the... Uh, <laughs> shooting the gun, by the way. It's uh, quite loud. Um, yeah, I've, I've found it... Um, Quite enjoyable and uh, glad I picked it up. I haven't yet picked up the DLC, but I do plan on doing that. It is... Uh, yeah, let's deal with them uh, that way instead. Let's reload that gun. I haven't picked up the DLC, but you are not on a uh, train, you're on a car. Obviously, the reason why I originally picked up one was like, ooh, it's a train. And, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> not just about uh, driving that train. This is this is mainly where you spend, I think, most of your time. Either way, that's just a little bit of the final station. As I said, it came out in uh, 2000 and... Uh, ow. That's a, that's a date. Uh, it came out in the 2016, I believe. So, not exactly a new game. But that's why I like to um, take a break and try these things. Things that have been on the list for a time from, you know, for maybe quite a while. Things that I... Uh I've been uh, looking into and just trying different things. Uh, there's one of the armoured ones, and uh, as you can see there, I was able to punch his helmet off, but I can't take him out because, uh, yeah, it doesn't work with um, 
<laughs> who doesn't work just punched him because you can take the helmet off with one punch but then you have to actually shoot him and uh, oh there we go that's gonna hurt and there we are so we'll probably head our way back now um, I think I will use the medikit because we are quite low on health. There's the battery that we need. I wonder if I can lob it at uh, these enemies and we'll find out. No, it doesn't look like we can. Uh, but I did put it down, so get rid of that. Shoot that in the head. Oh, by the way, if you do shoot any of them in the head, they do die uh, immediately. So there's a reason for doing that. We can go down here, can we? And what's going on here? Uh, apparently we've just met Tony Montana. And uh, looks like they're going to be on the train now. So we've got four people on the train which is going to be uh oh that's bad there you go yeah uh, four people on the train so that's going to be quite difficult to uh, look after them all let me put that down and pick up the chair because quite frankly if oh apparently it is locked oh there's the key open that up and yeah you can see that took them out in one hit and then one head gone yeah uh, i think i'll have to prioritize which one i look out for because i don't think i'll have certainly if there's Hmm, we've got one bandage. I might be able to get them to the location, but we've only got uh, a little bit of food. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll put the battery on there, and then we will type in the code 5527, and we will leave it there. That's a bit of Final Station. Hope you've enjoyed this little look at a bit of an interesting, quirky game. I mean, if it's for you, then by all means, check the link out in the description. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.